I'm Fred Hassan, the Chairman and Chief Executive Officer of Sharing Plow Corporation, which is a pharmaceutical company. Early uh, in my uh, life, I went through the uh, high school system in Pakistan, and then I went overseas to the UK uh, for a chemical engineering degree at Imperial College in London. And then I went back to Pakistan to work for a fertilizer company for three years. And then I came to the United States to study uh, MBA uh, at Harvard Business School. And then I joined the pharmaceutical industry in 1972. And I've been with the pharmaceutical industry ever since. Personally, I uh, work uh, very comfortably with a lot of information around me. The advantage of the internet is that one has much, much quicker access to information, and that, of course, uh, improves everybody's ability to, to work a lot better. And also, uh, the transfer of science knowledge around the world is uh, something that's making our global uh, innovation uh, come to the benefit of everybody. Uh, science travels everywhere. If somebody uh, comes up with a great idea on something in China, it travels quickly through the internet, and in that regard, we are becoming a global village when it comes to the world of science. Science uh, breaks uh, in, uh, everywhere around the world, and there are important uh, universities around the world that make their contribution. There are companies that are doing research around the world, and uh, we have to build on each other's knowledge. Uh, so science travels quickly and easily, and uh, it's very important to remain connected. The biggest application that we're seeing is our field representatives. They're able to call up information while they're out there in the field that makes them more focused, more targeted, and uh, they also are able to avoid uh, less uh, valuable uh, calls on the doctors. Uh, so in many, many ways, uh, the modern technology is making people more efficient and more, more connected with each other. In the end, people are social uh, animals, and uh, you cannot get too disconnected. In some ways, you have to be careful that modern technology doesn't make you too comfortable in that world, and you lose the sense of the human touch. And that is something we all need to watch out for. Uh, we work uh, through understanding each other uh, wherever possible. We at least try to get to know each other as people. Uh, human relationships are extremely important in a large company. We have uh, over 50,000 employees around the world and in many, many countries around the world. And uh, it is very important that people reach each other on a human level. That's when the trusting relationships uh, begin. And if people work in an environment of trust, then, then the whole system is a lot more productive. I think we've all uh, done well as CEOs because uh, we've had this uh, element of uh, speed and flexibility in the way we do our things. We don't get too far behind. We try to stay in tune and then we try to stay flexible and we have this learning mode. For example, when I started my career in the industry in 1972, biotechnology was almost a non-existent concept. But that has changed uh, the world of pharmaceuticals. And uh, I have tried very hard to stay in tune with that change. The internet has changed the world of technology around us. I've worked hard to stay in, in, in tune with that concept. It's important to stay in tune and to adapt and to grow all the time. Innovation is not just a great scientific idea by somebody in the laboratory. It's really working in a collaborative manner to build value into the idea. And that means uh, you have to have peripheral vision, you have to reach out to your colleagues in different parts of the company and uh, take advantage of this uh, great matrix that we have that becomes a resource at, at that point. In some ways we call it like plugging into a power grid. If we can accomplish that, then we've been, then we've been very successful. <music>